Hello and welcome to World of Warships. Yes, the date is June the 1st, which means, well, <laughs> I thought it was, this is what it means, but uh, patch 0.7.5 is out, or whatever they're calling it, or as I know it, the, the American cruise lines all changed. Uh, if we go to the tech tree, you'll see now, there it is, we have a split uh, with the Cleveland is out there now, uh, Buffalo, Des Moines, um, there. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be other changes as well, but uh, there, there we go. We have a new, we have a new tier eight, um, and of course the Cleveland's been bumped up here, and has been given all these lovely modules, whatever. And we will do a video on that, but I'm not going to do a video on the Cleveland because <coughs> I'm going to do a video on the Pensacola, the ship I originally grinded up hours and hours and hours in this game to get here, and it was completely underwhelming. So. I'm very glad that they've changed it so that no one else will have to go through what I went through. I've also been given access to the, 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 the replacement, the Pensacola, I can't afford it at the moment. I'm spending a lot of money on everything else. Um, and so we'll be doing we're doing a video on the Cleveland. I'll also be doing a video on the Texas pretty soon as well. But I want to jump in. So everything else is exactly the same as it was. Um, but the New Orleans is the new tier 7 which is more appropriate this thing has been bumped down a tier to tier 6 which is nice because it means we can only f sort of reach tier 8 rather than facing tier 9s and the odd tier 10 I was facing as well with this thing um, after we were playing early uh, early in the morning when servers were empty but uh, we haven't got any, anything on the exterior we're just playing it old vanilla we could put, we could put that on it if we wanted to or some hearts but no we're not going to do any of that uh, I still got some of this as well we're just going to just dump straight in there because I don't, know, I don't I feel like I've waited way too long to have to play with this um, and it'll just be just be good hopefully we'll find a game pretty soon the the servers are jam packed with cruisers at the moment I jumped into the last game and there was uh, <laughs> three uh, three Clevelands on each side which was a bit like hmm uh, I see what everyone's playing <laughs> Look up to the the Cleveland I know for the American line and then just left it because then they knew they'd get free uh, Terry so there we go, tier 8 Cleveland's up there, uh, which is nice because it sort of Pensacola is still squishy. Uh, no, Pensacola is squishy, but it's, so it's Cleveland, the big guns will be really nice to use. Yeah, but the Northern Lights map. Let's see what it's like. Absolutely perfect. There we go, so, with a few seconds left, let's get straight into this now. I haven't played this for a very long time, and as we usual, I will just be talking as a player, uh, giving you my immediate thoughts. 15 kilometer range, so that's, uh, that's a bit further than Cleveland, actually. But, to have to remember, these are much bigger guns, and we're going to go straight to arm piercing, just because we'll be facing off cruisers, and, well, we're going to go over there and stick with our mate, the, the Cleveland, see if we can find a... Uh, a battleship to defend as well, that's a nice thing, this thing along with the Cleveland is very good at taking out aircraft, <laughs> not quite as good as the Cleveland as an escort cruiser but very very good still <laughs> and these big big guns, I don't know if they've changed the rate of fire on them, 15 second reload time, I can't remember if it's the same, I thought it was 20 something, I might be wrong so don't quote me on that but we'll soon find out uh, Yes, it's a bit interesting having to grind all the way up to tier 7 and then finding this thing being bumped down again. It's a bit sad that no one else will have to do that, but equally it just took so long. It's just It just needs to be here at tier 6. It was I was getting blown up immediately. It was just a big disappointment after the Cleveland. The Cleveland was amazing. I had some very, very good games with the Cleveland. It feels like... It feels like this was a, a slightly worse version of a British cruiser because it didn't even have the mobility. Um, but... Yeah, you know, had the guns, but even then it wasn't, it wasn't great. So this thing's, I don't know, I feel like this is where it, where it belongs. Being able to face off uh, lesser targets as well as, as, as stronger ones. Obviously though, because everyone sort of jumped into their, their cruisers, higher tier cruisers, we are facing, what well, the lowest person in the enemy is a tier 6 New Mexico. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. So we've got C and D's attack. I'm sticking with Cleveland, the Richelieu, and we've got a turbot over there. That's 
not something we can do much about, but we can take a pop shot at it anyway. The turret rotation speed is still absolutely atrocious. Uh, what's our height? The cleaver in there, so if we slow ourselves down a little bit. It is a strategic target. We can see if we can take a little pop shot at him. Ah, oh, he's not coming this way. That's okay. Let's see if we can get around this corner. Okay, they're they're pretty good holding out there, and there's no one coming steaming straight down the middle. There is turpits. So if we're gonna take try and take out turpits, we've got to have high explosive. We just we will Do you know what I think we Yeah, we'll we'll change this. We'll make sure that our fighter is up. <coughs> Ready to help take out any of the any of these things that come in. Oh, good set. Damn it. Let's <laughs> get slow it down a little bit. <laughs> yes, good. One fire. That's what we'd like to see. Um, that Cleveland's very dangerous. Hmm, I think this the I think the the reload time has actually increased since I lost. Since I last played it, that's nice. So he's obviously facing, trying to take out the Richelieu. Uh, we're gonna get any hits on that? No. Ah, uh, the Cleveland's buggered off over there. It's always nice. Come on, let's see if we can give him a hand. Cleveland over there, which could be quite useful to to hit. So we're going to change straight into this. Let's give Richelieu a little bit of help. Ah, oh, penetration. And there's an Edinburgh. Uh, ooh, that was a big hit. Okay, let's run away. We're going to be the focus of all of that. We don't have long. Full, full rotation. And keep varying that course and speed. Make it harder. Ah, oh, that's right, everything's just one. You see how quickly that... Okay. There we go. That Edinburgh will be trying to get off its rear turrets. And obviously, because I've played one of those, I know roughly what it's going to try and do. I also know its weak points. Let's see if we can keep varying that course and speed. Good hit. This thing is powerful now, especially against something squishy like an Edinburgh. And we can remember outrange them as well, which is awfully nice. Okay. Yes, everything missed. Okay, now we can run away a little bit more. Oh, that turpits is is dangerous. That thing shredded through most of my health. And remember, well, this thing does not have a repair party consumable, which is a bit of a bummer. He is, that Attico is doing bugger all, which is really frustrating. And I fear that he is going to immediately try and take me out. Which way is the turbid steaming? 
Okay, so the Turpus is following that Edinburgh. Um, there's not much we can do about that, really. Especially with not much of a health. He is not doing much, and I don't want to leave that Cleveland alone. I feel like... Uh, ooh. That Cleveland is incredibly dangerous. The enemy Cleveland is incredibly dangerous. And there's not much we can do about <laughs> that Turpus. We just don't have the firepower to take it out. We really need a battleship over here. The Richelieu just, just died. Um... Uh, I feel like he is going to be immediately trying to take us, so we'll just ferry this that way. Come on. Just want to be able to get these shots out. Some serious damage then. We are getting to the point where we are getting awfully close to the point where they could very easily get me from a settler. So I'm trying to just don't want to make it too easy for them. Oh, we actually managed to get a penetration through that. That was nice. That Cleveland is probably his, and rightly so, his focus because that thing can get. So much high explosive spam out. But we're gonna just try and double up the power. As well. See so if we can set a couple of fires. That could be ooh, that was that uh, okay, we're gonna have to seriously run away. Oh, damn it! Just gas. Okay, it was nice that that sort of ended in a in a in a win, which was nice because uh, we ended up, <laughs> well, the rest of my team ended up pushing those those two back, and I don't know they never really recovered. So it's nice that we held off the other side, even if we did die quite early. We still got we still did our bit, push them back, which means they can come through and sort of pincer the rest of the team. But move, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I think I think that was an interesting match. I think it's quite difficult to, to work out how good it is because we were fighting tier 8s. Uh, and this is only a tier 6 now, remember. But this seems to be a little bit more fair. Look, these are all sort of tier 6s. Uh, Emerald, tier 5. Okay, so it's always, ah, it's always nice to be up against an Emerald. They are <laughs> unbelievably squishy. Um, and as someone who's sort of gone through the, the British line... Uh, I'm pretty pretty glad to be f done with the Emerald actually straight in. Um, I thought it was a bit meh, it was a bit rubbish. And then the tier 6 after, I can't even remember. Just tried going through it as quick as I could. Um, I'm hoping we sort of go for C and, C and B here, because that would be <laughs> pleasant for me. But uh, again, strength armor piercing. I don't know why we're on high explosive. I think it definitely does suit tier 6 much more, yeah, I don't know, it feels it feels like because of the, the original balancing of it, because there is <laughs> no armour at all, this thing is made of citadels you can see the, well, how long that funnel, di the distance between those two funnel, funnels I mean, that it's just so squishy around the area, and, and even then last last game you saw that, it was very easy for anything from, from, a, from one of those Japanese uh, cruisers to a to battleship to basically just wipe this thing off this face of the earth as quickly as possible. So <laughs> being up against something like an emerald or something like that is is quite nice because this is where this thing comes into its own. Really defending against carriers and taking out other light cruisers as well. Sticking with something like a Cleveland that we did last game was definitely a good idea because Clevelands are so m <laughs> I wouldn't say they're more of a threat, but they're more of an immediate threat because they could have so many rounds in the air so quickly all of the time and whether or not they'll buff the Cleveland again because I've at the end of it they some people were complaining last match that it was alarm fair yeah it was a little unfair to the Clevelands because they were just getting well 
well, screwed really. Um, let's see. This is a bit risky. Oh, that's really risky. Do you know what? We are not going to go through. We're not going to go through. We're going to we're going to wait because he's going to try and get super quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he just got absolutely annihilated. Well, that's funny. Um, that does mean, however, there are going to be torps on the way. So we're just going to be a little bit careful. And w there they are. Okay, it's one set at least. Torpedoes dead ahead. Oops, is coming our way? It is. In fact, there is everything coming our way. So we're just going to... I was going to say we're going to break. I can't tell if there's anything behind me. There's nothing behind me. Yes. This could be risky. Okay, quickly, quickly, quick, change direction. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, we are throwing ourselves into the mix now. Well, let's do something at least. We are number one target, and yes, it's that varying course and speed. Okay, so there's <laughs> there's very little we can do. Oh my god! <laughs> Always next to me, nothing. Um, we are well within detection range of everything. So it's uh, full speed. Full speed out of here. Nope. Okay, we're going to fight back though. Okay, he has stopped. So we're going to see. Feel like they're gonna try and go for him. If they start going for me, I think that's a bit of a mistake. Come on, let's see if we can get hit on him. He's just not moving. Oh, he's just not moving quick enough. Oh, that's nice. Pensacola. Hmm. Who's the bigger threat? Uh, that was a good hit. Good hit, good hit. Good. He can do the same though. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, angled. <laughs> Nicely angled. Let's see if we can get another hit on him. Another, yes, three citadels. That was a good hit. As I say, this thing is just made of citadels. But we're just trying to keep angled. Just trying to keep angled. That Nassau could really screw us up. So we're just going to pull back. Too much of an angle now to actually. Oh well, that's what happens when you get too near a NASA. Okay, so it's 26, 6,000 damage so far, and we have lost a huge amount of health. So we're just gonna pull back. Let's see if we can get him to pull back as well. Because I just don't want him to die. Mm. And uh, okay, let's see if we can just tactically uh, remain here watching over him. <coughs> We've done our, our bit so far, but <laughs> I'm. Just, oh, if he just doesn't come back, please come back. <laughs> You're only one battleship. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Hmm. 
Do we have me's? I haven't seen how much, but I need this to go up. Huh. Not much of one, apparently. He is weirdly committed to the cause. We have a yeah, we have a that we have a fifteen point six kilometer range. So if we can get to the very very closest point in our range, we might be able to help him out. But that is still by putting me at a lot of risk. He is and uh, he's really I think he's gonna pull out of it as well actually. Let's see. A T twenty two coming tab, yeah, he's just gonna go. Right. We're gonna we're gonna sell around where we could be a little bit more useful. Pensac <laughs> Pensacola just got wiped out. Which is nice. It was nice when that happens. Uh I don't think we're going to get close enough. Right, let's get behind this island and go over there to help them. <laughs> That's a Dunkirk. So can't really take that out. And so as you can sort of see with the the amount of citadels that we managed to do with this thing, it is perfect for that sort of semi close up brawling. And that is a that is a dangerously close nest out. Which again takes up really quickly. But luckily it sort of floated its way towards us at a really nice angle. Especially if it starts getting broadside that way. Try and set a few fires. If the cleaving was here, it'd be having a field day. <laughs> Yeah, another fire. <laughs> cool. We're just sort of too far. Notice how it's all sort of plunging far still. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can set another fire. Two, one. Mm, that's probably the last sound we're gonna be able to get over it. Oh no. Slow us down a little bit. <laughs> I'm always pat my fire. Let's see if we can set another one. Oh, oh he's gonna get hit first. There it is. <laughs> that, I think we'd said that. Where the hell did that come from? No one ever expects you to be going backwards. I have no idea where that came from. Uh, we still ended up a little scout plane. Fighter airborne. <laughs> uh, we'll go around this island. <laughs> I'm hoping to spot someone. <laughs> now, chances are it's a battleship, and as we are on our own, that would not be a good, be not a good sight really. Um, be alright if it's destroyed. This thing can, I believe, handle itself in something like a destroyer, but <laughs> not anything else. The Iron Duke's over there, and as as we're sort of collecting, we're collectively trying to take them out. Um, be a good idea to go and help. Yeah. Yes, those. They look pretty good. <laughs> if slightly short. Oh no, that one's right. All shattering. As we expected. Mind you. Let's see if we can add our our fire to the system as well. That thing has a fantastic uh, damage repair ability. So the fact that, so yeah, there it is. That's taken out as well. Okay, another NASA over there, and a French cruiser. Oh, let's just try and not die because we're very nearly die. We're very nearly winning. Actually, we've almost won this thing. If we can just escape their clutches a little bit. Oh, there it is. Well then, I think we're gonna have to go have some fun with that. 
that looks like high explosive though. So might be might just play to our favours a little bit to Yeah, just as we thought. There you go, cool some speed. Don't know what that is. Ah, that's another cruiser. He can't see us though. So we're just gonna make our way over here. And we've won. That's it. There's Dunkirk over there as well. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I think this ship really showed what you could do then. Uh, it'd be nice to get near that emerald. That's funny because we won and we got, did more damage and everything, but that's that game we, we got less XP for over. Uh, I mean, that's just ridiculous stats. Um, I don't know what this spotted thing is here. It's one ancient that's not been spotted in battle. No, fair enough. That's awfully useful. Assume that's for my uh, uh, thing going up. But yeah, this thing is, is fantastic. Um, it really does suit this sort of lower tier where it do the citadels where it's fighting lesser lesser ships, where it's the top of its tier rather than the sort of bottom. And well, um, I would say, I would actually say that this is actually a very good ship now. Definitely worth the grind for definitely rewarding at tier six, tier seven. I don't know. We'll buy that and do uh, do a video on that. And tier eight, obviously, we, you have the choice now between the uh, <laughs> Cleveland and the I can't remember what it's called. Um, well, let's go back to Portland. And I'll tell you because. But the Cleveland is is looking pretty good as well. Uh, here we go. Uh, tech tree. <laughs> there it is, clicking every single one together. Yeah, we have the Baltimore now, which uh, you have the option of having. This gives you. Uh, you get nine guns, nine two hundred and three millimeters compared to. Uh, and this gives you fifteen forty five two thousand eight hundred or four thousand six hundred, and. If we compare it to this, there you go. This is a 10 second reload time. <coughs> so, see, a 10 second reload time, great. And then the Cleveland is a 6.5 second reload time. I can't remember if it's exactly the same. Um, but yes, as a tier 8, that is very, very good. Um, in fact, uh, and there's tier 7 New Orleans, this is a 13 second, so you have a sort of incremental increase and the Baltimore is sort of that tier 8 set, tier 8 um, which yeah. it's very strange how they've done this because if you actually have to, to fully go up the research points so as you can see I haven't actually researched that yet but I have researched this one they're not in line um, so I've been given this tier 8 one for free and there's there's nowhere down from here. I don't know if they're going to expand the, the light cruiser line. But this one, it, um, like it gives you uh, surveillance radar. Radar's a very nice consumable. But as I say, we're focusing on the Pensacola say. And perfect. I think Wargaming have done a fantastic job with this ship. They've they've moved it to where exactly it should be. And they bumped the Cle Cleveland up because the Cleveland is a great ship. And so I definitely suggest you know grinding for this one. Uh, and then up to the New Orleans afterwards, which again... I have yet to play. Uh, I never got that far in the, in the American tiers before they changed this. But the Pensacola, good tier, tier 6 ship. Grind up there. Get it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you found it, well, useful really um, and informative. And I'll catch you next time.